Welcome to the video demonstration for team number 103's entry to TA Unlock Design Contest 2014. We are a team of undergraduate students from the Government College of Engineering, Salem, working under the guidance of our principal, Dr. Vahida Banu. Our entry is titled Multipurpose Acoustic Localization System. The main aim of our project is to create a system which can accurately pinpoint the location of any loud sound like gunshot or explosion and tell it to the user in real time. This system has been implemented as one master module and four slave modules each having a microphone which are to be placed around the area to be monitored. When the slave module detects any sound, they will transfer the sound data to the master module which will then process it and give the sound location to the user. Now let us look at the hardware implementation part of the project and these are the four slave modules and this is the master module. Now. In the slave module, we have the Piccolo TMS320 F28027 digital signal controller, which is a slave DSC. It is connected to the Zigbee module here, which acts as the router for the star network. And the output of the digital uh, the microphone with its signal conditioning circuits is now given to the ADC of the DSC. And the digital uh, the signal conditioning circuits are constructed in these two ICs which are TL082 dual JFET input operational amplifiers. Now let us look into the unlock part in more detail and this is the microphone bias circuit whose output is given to the input of the inverting amplifier which amplifies the signal and feeds it to the four pole low pass filter which cuts off all the frequencies above 15 kilohertz so that aliasing does not occur when we are sampling at 30 kilohertz and this filter is an essentially uh, an anti-aliasing filter and the output of this filter will now vary from minus 3.3 volts to plus 3.3 volts and which is not acceptable for ADC sampling so the output is now taken and given to a voltage shifting and scaling circuit to make the uh, signal vary from 0 to 2.8 volts which is more convenient for sampling with the ADC and this is the master module having the master DSC which is the Delphino TMS320 F28335. We also have uh, an LCD and the Zigbee module here which acts as the coordinator for the star network. Then the LCD is used to display the output and this temperature sensor LM35 is used to give temperature readings so that the sound speed can the speed of the sound can be corrected for temperature variations and we also have a battery powered power system in all the modules the the master and the slave modules here uh, in the slave modules you can see the 5 volts load dropout regulator and the positive and negative voltage converter for powering the op amps and uh, which is not present in the master module and Except that the power supply part is all, all the same and the battery gives a voltage of 7.4 volts and 700 milliamp power and that concludes the hardware implementation part. Now we have made extensive use of the DSP and math libraries in the digital signal controllers and we would like to share this with you. When the slave modules receive the signal from the sound, they transmit two pieces of information to the master. The first one is the time of reception data and the second one is 1024 sound samples from the sound. So the master gets this, gets this data and then f by using this sound signal data it computes the Fourier transform by using FFT algorithms and checks whether all the signals have the same frequency components. This is to ascertain that the sound has sound received by the slaves modules has come from the same sound source. Having checked for the authenticity of the sound event, we now move on to find out the specific point of location. Now we create a lookup table considering various points in the testing area and for each point the distances between that point and the various microphones are calculated and this distance data is now correlated 
with the uh, actual data that is got from the time of uh, time of reception uh, information and the the point having the minimum amount of error is now declared as the source of the sound and this algorithm is very efficient and it is executed in no time because of the processing power of this Delphino digital signal con controller. Now we are field testing our project and for that we have created a test area of length 5 meter and width 5 meter over here and we have placed our slave modules A, B, C and D in the corners and the point A is considered as the origin and the line joining A and B is considered as the X axis and the line joining A and C is considered as the Y axis and we will be bursting a balloon somewhere over there and we will be looking at the output in the master module. Now it says data ready, which means that the slave modules have reported listening, the sound has been listened, heard. And now if you get data verified, it means that the master module has used FFT techniques to verify that the sound source is okay. And now we are getting the output here, which is a perfect output. Now I have exploded the balloon over there, that means in the, now I have exploded the balloon here which is about 500 centimeters that is 4 centimeters in the y axis and half the distance that is 200 centimeters in the x axis and the output is approximately correct which, which gives 225 in the x axis and 450 in the y axis